Hello and good morning and welcome to our channel. It's a very gorgeous day today in Hobart. It's summer time and it's continuing. We are at Festa Italia 2024. Last week, hope you have watched our vlog at Chinese New Year, Dragon's Year. And uh, this weekend, it's an Italian festival in Hobart. We are today with our favorite gladiator and in Hobart. Oh, hopefully it's not a bloody day. It's a very beautiful day. It's a festive time. And uh, yeah, it's, it's most enjoyable. So come and join us, let's enjoy this extraordinary festival in Hobart. So many people, it's a massive setup. Hobart has got a very big Italian community, like in Melbourne, and it's no different here. There are live music and uh, Italian food. So it's going to be a fascinating walkthrough and entertainment for this weekend. If you really like Italian festival in Hobart, you should watch our video that we captured a few years back that was Italian flag throwing festival, part of Italian festival in Hobart. We're entering the festival site. Hello Gladiator, do you want to say something? How are we? Not too bad. You enjoying the environment? Yeah. I hope it's not too hot today. Oh, it's, it's pretty warm, yeah. <laughs> The plan is that we'll be walking through this festival site. There'll be a lot of food store. We'll try some Italian food. It's a beautiful setup, and uh, we're just walking through this extraordinary crowd. And uh, hopefully, we'll have fantastic food to try from. Obviously, uh, pasta is our daily staples. <laughs> Oh, what a gorgeous atmosphere and also then afterwards so there will be some music and uh, we'll have a complete vlog of the site hope you'll enjoy this extraordinary festival in Hobart some other gladiator uh, let's walk through this whole festive area and uh, let's see what on offer there's some Italian wine and drink on offer and then a lot of people are enjoying this weather with Italian wines and then we have a store for panini yeah obviously panini is like a lunchtime staple for many people from cafes look at the paninis the freshly made paninis and uh, inside they have this big piece of mozzarella and uh, it's going to be toasted and they're always delicious Italian foods are pretty much multicultural. Even if you are from a different uh, food and cultural background, you must have like Italian food. That's like a generic language of food for any nation, anyone on the earth. You must have tried pizza, pasta and uh, variety Italian food. That is like a normal generic staple for anybody from any country. The selling apparel, a very traditional drink for summertime and also it's related with Australian Open, the tennis. They're selling some Italian sausage. I think it's a good sign that people are enjoying the extraordinary fresh food. Uh, this is a shop for Italian porchetta and uh, we are back again in the mix and we are planning to buy some donuts before we go back and uh, that uh, lady is uh, selling donuts, frying hot donuts, that's something very tempting. So we should buy those and we are not going to try this now but uh, for later and this is a delicious moment. This is the donut shop and we are going to buy some donuts from here and uh, that will be delicious. Oh, that was that was one of the gladiators. And uh, Ornima is buying some donuts, and we are waiting in the queue. Oh, watermelon. How is the day so far? Good, thank you. Very and busy. Very busy. And how do you actually? Lots of people. Is it like normal donut uh, that you make? No, it's like it's like a pizza dough. Pizza dough, yeah. or deep fried, and then you put it in sugar syrup. Sugar, and you can have Nutella or chocolate or honey. Right, and yeah. there is no specific shape, I guess, as yeah, you like it. <laughs> wow, okay. My brother makes the dough. Right. Yeah. Okay, I'm yeah. It's a bit popular, they're very nice and light. 
It is going to be a delicious food, I guess. Deep fried donut with sugar is always delicious. And that's the final product. This stall is selling arancini. It's like, look like this. And these are basically rice balls, dipped in batter and deep fried. And it can have different variety of uh, filling. It could be vegetarian, it could be meat. And uh, arancini is one of our favorite things. Look at this area, it's so nice. So many stalls, all selling Italian food. Stall called Melone. So they're selling watermelon, but they're selling fresh watermelons. Oh, wonderful. We should try that later on. The meatball store must be very popular because there's a huge queue and a lot of people are eating either meatball or pasta. That's like universal language of food. And uh, obviously this pasta store is super busy. Who doesn't like pasta? It's a good sign. A lot of people are buying pasta. The Italian wine we're talking about. Wine with pasta and pizza is a delicacy and you need to try different kind of wines with Italian food. And this particular corner we have one of the two most favorite items. Cannoli, as I mentioned before, the cannoli is a dessert and it's like a deep fried pastry and filled with uh, soft cheese and uh, syrup and dried fruits and uh, pistachio. It's a Sicilian Italian dessert and, and then we have pizza. Obviously, pizza is like natural food for humanity, I guess. Look at the line for this pizza. There's like at least 100 people are waiting to buy pizza. And I'm, I must try some pizza later on once I finish the tour. And it looks delicious. As you can see, at the moment we're in the queue. We're buying some pizza slices. There's a mushroom pizza and then there is a the ham and cheese pizza that we're going to try and uh, this, this is going to be a half an hour wait I guess the long queue but we must wait for this traditional and very authentic pizza so we are almost arrived at this pizza store it's very crowded it's the most popular I think and uh, we are planning to buy some mushroom pizza and uh, hopefully we'll get one it's very competitive only mushroom? Uh, mushroom and mushroom pepperoni. One pepperoni and one mushroom. Do you want to say something? It's fantastic. Yeah, beautiful. After a long wait, we got uh, two slices of pizzas that we wanted. One is just pure mushroom and cheese. And I've got my pepperoni or salami pizza, they say. And they look delicious. And hopefully, we should try this and uh, report back. It Tell me, how is the pizza? Nice and hot. Nice and hot. Crunchy. Crunchy. And it has got like mushroom and uh, mozzarella. And, uh, and truffle oil. Truffle oil. Oh, truffle oil. Okay. So I've got this uh, pepperoni pizza and um, it's lovely, very hot day. And it's extremely hot pizza and it's like a bread and it's just so beautifully done. I think they are made from the, the Angelo. It's a, um, one of the best, if not the best, Italian uh, pizza restaurant in Hobart, in Battery Point. Mm. And I'm just loving it. Wonderful. Look at this guy. At the pizza store, mm, this is our Tasmanian premier, Jeremy Rockcliffe. And uh, for a moment, uh, he is selling pizza at this Italian festival. And we got to capture that moment as well. So it's pretty awesome. That's our Tasman and Premier, Jeremy Rocco, selling pizza. Thank you, sir. Hey, Chris. Hey, Chris. We need you to focus, please, mate, with the cash register. Yeah, right. Oh. Apparently there was a review, performance review of selling pizza that uh, probably uh, the seller was not uh, concentrating on collecting cash. 
So that was a funny moment. We have, we have a bit of bad, that's also a reward. I was uh, trying to buy some candy because that would be delicious in, in this hot weather. We need to eat something sweet and hopefully this fresh candy will be delicious. I, I'll have a pack of three. Oh, yes, it's like, it's like, <laughs> And the chocolate. <laughs> okay. uh, what with the flavor inside? Uh, so it's chocolate and vanilla and Sicilian, which is mascarpone cheese. Oh, that's cherries. wonderful. Thank you very much. So we have got three different flavors. So one is the chocolate one, the chocolate filling, and then we have this strawberry one on the left. And the middle is the traditional mascarpone with honey, and uh, it's going to be delicious. Do you want to try some? Is the pastry crunchy? Wow. Should try that. So I'm going to try the middle one, the traditional one, which is the mascarpone and the honey. And uh, yeah, that's my favorite one. Ooh, it's so crunchy that I, I broke the cannoli. But it is delicious. It's not too sweet. Just awesome. So this is another side of this festival site, and we have a lot of famous very expensive italian car parked and this is one of the most important and very exciting spectacles and so we have red ferrari and i guess we have also lamborghini and uh, yeah look at this red ferrari and uh, we have also some uh, traditional italian cars probably i don't know much of the name of these cars but they look stunning the ferrari everyone knows ferrari and this red ferrari is just super exciting and uh, this is the background of italian festival today and we have this mount wellington in our background what a wonderful side this is we have these all these different cars beautiful legendary italian cars someone's collection in Hobart I guess and they are on display today this is a black Maserati wow and this is a very old uh, Ferrari I guess one of the early models and this is a Iolo Ferrari wow someone has got a fantastic collection in Hobart yeah and they are on display so yeah you have to display them otherwise what's the point of having them yeah and this is this is a very old one and someone must have brought this from italy and yeah this is history on the street with italian music and food in the mount wellington in background what a wonderful sight what a wonderful sight this is it's just an amazing time isn't it the weather is so good in our background we have mount wellington and from there we have this italian festival site and we have this extraordinary italian food that we tried and this music is going on live italian music and all these traditional and extraordinary italian expensive cars are on display wow it's fantastic time in Hobart look at the line for gelatos Italian ice cream we don't have time I think we are not going to try gelato today but it's fascinating to look at the queue it's just like hundreds of people waiting for gelatos there is a competition going on and I think it's for the children and whoever wins getting some lollies Oh. <laughs> I think I'm in the danger zone here. <laughs> Maybe another one. Just move it down a bit more. Wow, it's, it's a bit dangerous, oh, I think, yeah. And girls. Wow. It's like a ring thing and ding ding. What do you want to do, Johnny? Oh, you're going to break it. <laughs> oh, so you can, go. Oh, if you can break oh, it, you then you get lollies. Those sacks are filled with lollies. So if you can break it, you get all the lollies, and the children are collecting the lollies afterwards. One more, Katie. So you have to really try hard to get some rewards. Be careful, guys. This is a bigger one. Two shots. Are you ready? Go. Thank you very much.
much for watching our travel videos and this food vlogs. Hope you enjoyed this extraordinary Italian festival today in Hobart. Thanks for watching our videos. Goodbye until the next video. Hey, 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 hey.